first episode of the mm-hmm. Theory of Living, and I'm excited to be here with Kai, who's uh, my best friend. We've been playing this out for the last, I don't know how long now, almost six years. Six years, <laughs> yeah. Not continuous work, but you know, here and there, we've talked about it. But uh, we were busy with the lives, right? Um, um, so here we are, finally recording the first episode. Yeah, so some background on us. We were engineers in the semiconductor industry, and that's how we met each other, actually. It was night shift, and I had been coming from upstate New York. I worked for a Japanese company previously. Mm-hmm. And then you had just joined Samsung because you would finished your mechanical engineering degree. Right. Um, but before that, you were in Korea, right? And you were doing your other degree. Yes. You were doing media uh, design? or Yeah, it was web designing. Uh, I studied that in college in Korea. And then um, I came here in 2008 and went back to school for mechanical engineering, which I enjoyed a lot. And then I joined the company. Um, probably shouldn't talk about the name of the company and all that. <laughs> but, you know, joined the company and, and, you know, we met there. Um, and we hit it off pretty quickly because, you know, we shared a lot of uh, things in common, you know, philosophy and workout and fitness, reading, a lot of stuff, right? So it was basically love at first sight. That's what you're trying to say, right? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah. So I had the background of traveling abroad, you know, growing up, living all around in the states and then overseas as well you know israel england germany right and so i'd been experienced to a lot of different cultures and i mean obviously you had the background experience growing up in an entirely different culture Mm -hmm. i think that's why we saw eye to eye and we kind of you know bonded over that and then i mean immediately we went out downtown drinking and that (laughs) right nothing like alcohol to smooth over any uh yes miscommunications or things like that a lot of fun right and then that's the day I'm pretty sure that was the first day we hung out, and um, I got a text message from my ex, I mean, you know, two exes ago, but um, I got a text um, telling me that she she wants a divorce, right? So it was pretty shocking, but at the same time, really laughable, right? Because we were drunk, and who does this over text? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? (laughs) And I barely knew you, so I'm like, like right. how do I respond? Like, oh, is he upset yeah. or is he like okay? And you seem perfectly, perfectly cool. You're just smoking a cigarette. I remember we're out there at Blind Pig right. Pub, um, in Austin. But we developed a, a good friendship for a long time after that. We we're mm-hmm. going to the gym all the time together, like you mentioned, discussing philosophy, and right. we were just sick of working in the engineering field where we felt like. We gave so much effort and our peers wouldn't do the same. And we're like, why are we working so vigorously for somebody else when we could be doing this Mm -hmm. for ourselves? So we should look into pursuing our Mm -hmm. passions and our dreams. Yes. And I think that's when we first kind of came up with the idea of like, well, Mm -hmm. let's sit down and do something, you know, start going to the coffee shops. And then eventually the theory of living is what we decided on for our name. And it was very open ended. We didn't know what it was going to be, if it was going to be a vlog, a podcast just a website mm-hmm. but we knew we wanted to do something else for sure yeah and then you know i think that applies to um other people as well you know i mean i, I was going to say that our industry i mean i don't want to say our industry the the industry that we uh we were in before uh have a lot of unique um elements that other industries don't don't have right but at the same time um, that this dissatisfaction um, because of your surroundings, you know, um, at work especially, is applicable to old people, right? Mm-hmm. Those who are not happy at work, you know, there there must be reasons, and you know, a lot of times people just live without exploring their reasonings. But um, I think a lot of people can relate to it, um, to our story. Yeah. I think most people want to do what we're taking the first steps to finally do. And it took us, Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, all said and done, probably about seven years. I guess 2021 is 2014 when we first met each other. And within a few months, we kind of, you know, tossed around the idea of pursuing something else. And it's just now finally come to fruition. So it's not to say that 
just be, because people feel that way that it's easy to leave. Mm-hmm. I mean, we felt it extremely, and we're even working on trying to get out of the industry for a very right. long time. And eventually mm-hmm. enough things lined up and planning to get to the point where we're here today. But it does seem the vast majority of people we meet when we talk about what we're doing or mm-hmm. what we want to do, they're always encouraging like, oh, do it. I wish I would have done it. Or they want to live that life for themselves. But it's very hard to escape a good paying job, you know, health care mm-hmm. benefits and all the other things. Yes. But, you know, like we've discussed many times before, mm-hmm. Nietzsche, we want to examine our lives mm-hmm. and we don't want to be slaves to things. And we want to choose, you know, our morality and our path yeah. and travel down that road. And this is just one of the first steps in it. So we want to make this podcast about exploring not only our lives, but, you know, other people's lives that we meet Mm -hmm. through interviewing them, talking, and then the vlog as well. See how people are living, what they're doing for fun, how they find fulfillment, and that you can get that through more ways than just working Mm -hmm. the atypical nine to five job or two and a half kids getting married. Something that's very ingrained in the culture here in the u.s right so we've talked about this right this uh conventional lifestyle we're not saying that it's a bad thing right yeah we're not saying that you know everybody should be looking for something more than that conventional lifestyle uh, but rather what we're you know trying to achieve is that uh, at least we need to uh, create an opportunity to explore or assess our lives right assess our lives and then um, to make it better right but without actually looking into it in detail it's almost impossible to achieve that and mm-hmm. we understand it's it's painful it could be very fa- painful right because I don't know everybody feels comfortable where they are if they choose to right yeah. but um, to have the realization of, um, like brutal realization of where you are um, could be a very, you know, necessary step to move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to have, you have to have some type of discontent or at least, you know, look down and examine where you are in your life. Like, is this what I want in my life? Am I Mm -hmm. getting what I actually want it? And, you know, I think for both of us, it was, the answer was always no. Mm-hmm. But it was very hard to, for lack of a better term, you know, pull the plug and make steps yeah. to get out of that because mm-hmm. there are a lot of good things to having a, you know, a full time job that pays well. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of security or the illusion of security mm-hmm. in that. Um, and we're in, even though we have the age difference of 10 years, I feel like we're in a very similar well, spot in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody would believe it, but he's right. he's 40 and I'm 30. Um, yes. I guess I look my age, but he looks young as hell, so that's kind of bullshit. So. Yeah. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's all that kimchi. It makes that, you look younger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, there's not a lot of people, I think, that even at their, this point in their lives where they're willing to kind of forsake everything else and just give it a go. So, you know, I'm super excited. I hope anybody listening to this Mm -hmm. can also maybe get some inspiration or some clarity of like, Oh, you know, maybe that's something I'd want to do. Maybe I'd want to quit my job and go try something Mm -hmm. else. Even if it's traveling now that you need a vlog or write a podcast or do anything about that, but it can enrich your life. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I think the large purpose of us doing this Mm -hmm. and sharing with other people, you know, not only do we want to be successful, but first and foremost, we want to show, you can find fulfillment in your life through different ways. Mm-hmm. We're just so used to looking at life through a cultural bias and a historical bias mm-hmm. that may be misserving us or right. misrepresenting what actually reality in life has to offer. Um, and so I think these are just the the initial steps into making things better. Um, yeah, for sure. But, but you know, I, I want to I want to talk about. Um, our previous status, right? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people may think that, oh, you know, maybe they were uh, miserable so that, you know, um, they had to make this step, mm-hmm. right? But uh, to be clear, our job wasn't bad at all. I mean, it paid really well, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah, it's engineering, so. <laughs> right. It paid really well. 
And I mean, the social status was, uh, you know, not bad at all. Um, you know, we could buy stuff, almost whatever we wanted to, mm-hmm. you know, house and car, you know, all that. But again, I mean, this is not something very new to, you know, anybody, but money or social status, all that have nothing to do with happiness or, you know, satisfaction of your life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we uh, quit our jobs and um, wanted to start this, uh, not particularly podcast at first, but we wanted to explore more Mm -hmm. in life. And then um, in preparation of that, we realized that, you know, we can do, you know, actually more than just for ourselves. We can actually, you know... um, use this opportunity to actually help other people as well right yeah yeah i think a big part of you know the theory of living or whatever Mm -hmm. that is what it looks like a key component to life satisfaction Mm -hmm. is also what you can offer to other people right you know i mean you look at what isaac and you and he's like the only reason i have genius essentially is because i stand on the back of giants right so the only reason we're even in the position we're in right now where we can even realize like you know maybe this isn't what we want for our lives maybe we want more is because of the people before us Mm -hmm. those that came before us you know whether that be you know our fathers or you know a metaphor metaphorical father or mother you know or metaphorical teacher you know philosopher or something of that those guys kind of set up a path and a way, but the only reason we're even able to see that is because, you know, things we've read, the experiences we've had, mm-hmm. and those are all cumulative into yeah. this moment. All right. And we've been fortunate enough to share similar enough of a path, even in different places in the world, mm-hmm. to converge into this one part. Yes. And, True. you know, happiness for some people is absolutely the nine to five, you know, mm-hmm. get, having a significant other, potentially having kids and having that security. Some people really want that. Mm-hmm. The only thing we would do to anybody that's in that situation, no matter what your want or desire mm-hmm. is, is to say, well, why do I want it? You know, right. is it, what's the underlying reason? Is it because I'm afraid of what I'll do if I don't have those securities or that's so integral to my identity? Yes. You know, then what makes up an identity? Um, and it can get, very complex very very quick Mm -hmm. um i think this is why we also end up being engineers though you know troubleshooting trying to find root cause understand why things are the way they are right and through that analysis you get some self-discovery and it's valuable for anybody it can enrich your life don't get me wrong it makes life way harder because once you find out what you should be doing Mm -hmm. then you're confronted with the fact you're not doing that so there's some you know, there's tension there. There's some friction. You're like, oh, fuck, I should be doing this with my life, but I'm sitting here on Instagram or I'm playing video right. games or I'm just hanging out and drinking beers. Like, what am right. I doing, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, I, I wanted to touch on uh, what happiness means, you know. Um, some may argue that happiness is overrated or uh, that's not something you should, you know, strive for, right? Because... Mm-hmm. I mean, if you think about it, happiness can be a very simple thing and can be almost meaningless as well, right? Yeah. Um, somebody who is couch potato, who watches Netflix all the time, you know, eating whatever he wants, he's probably happy, right? But that's not really kind of happiness or value that you, you need to look in, look for. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, along the way, uh, looking for, I, I like to say more, um, rather than happiness, you should look for um potential values or um, the important things that you want to achieve or you want to have in your life. Mm-hmm. And um, along the way of uh, uh, finding that, there could be times uh, when, you know, you're, you're under, you know, great stress or you're not happy at all, right? But that's that step alone is very meaningful, right? Mm-hmm. So I kind of, you know, I've been always that way i i want to i want to avoid that term um almost well i guess what i'm saying is that people just use that term almost uh um um 
without thinking about it. You know, mm-hmm. just happiness is the best thing, right? Yeah. And in fact, it's not a lot of times, right? Uh, a lot of times, unhappiness or you know hardship could be part of your very meaningful journey. So I think we should be careful um, using the term or even um, you know valuing that too much mm-hmm. for your life. Yeah, it lacks balance when you're only chasing happiness. Right. And kind of like you said, you know, the couch potato, sitting there chilling, watching Netflix, drink some beers, you know, being high, having the munchies, eating a ton, <laughs> you know, something we're no strangers to. Um, but if you do right. that day in and day out, right, what you're trading that happiness for mm-hmm. is potentially, you know, everything else. I mean, we talked about the importance of or and values of traveling. Um, but that's why we actually are planning mm-hmm. uh, for our first trip. To tell them where we're going? Be... What's that? Should we tell them oh, where yeah, we're of going? Course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go to Thailand to start. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, there's various de- various destinations in Thailand from beachfronts, the jungles, the mountainous areas, mm-hmm. um, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Koh Phi Phi, Koh Tao. There's a whole bunch of different places we can go. Kai's never been before. I've only gone once first time. for only a couple weeks. So, And at the time that I went, I had quit my job and I wanted to backpack, but mm-hmm. made some poor choices and had to come back. <laughs> we'll get into that sometime down, Maybe, yeah. down the we road. Will. Definitely yeah. we will. You know. Yeah. But we're excited to go out there and really experience you know, a different culture. The mm-hmm. people are very, very kind from all my experiences right. and the, uh, the beauty is unparalleled. Yeah. I mean, that alone, right? I mean, that alone is enough reason for us to go there. Absolutely. So uh, we are not limiting um, our our visiting time there because we want to um, force ourselves to be uh, as normal as possible in that new area, right, mm-hmm. new environment. And obviously, we're going to uh, experience things that um, we like. Uh, for you, it is climbing. I mean, for us, we I mean, we haven't talked about this the first time, right? This yeah, yeah, it's the first time. time. Anyway, uh, we train in a lot of different things. Um, uh, I do Muay Thai. I've been doing Muay Thai for some time. And, you know, he's been climbing for how many years now? Uh, it's, I think, 2015 or 2016, so... Many years. Yeah, six or seven years almost now. Yeah. So, I mean, Thailand has a lot of beautiful places to uh, places to climb, yeah. right? And obviously Muay Thai. We're gonna I mean, that's where that it developed. So, yeah, and we're going to film all that. Uh, I don't know if, we, if we're going to do a YouTube channel yet. Um, I mean, we have a YouTube channel. We have So we have a YouTube tied right now, but yes. I mean, as far so as... For mainly podcasts, right? Mainly it'll be podcasts yeah. and the vlogging stuff. Um, but we're going to record some of these travels and would love to hear from you guys what you'd like to see, what your interests are in Thailand or, right. you know, some things we could help explore for you if you're not there in person. Or if you are there in person, you know, let's get together, plan something, have a coffee, have some beer. and That's great. Yeah. You know, go go enjoy it and just mm-hmm. discuss some ideas. Um, that's one, one facet of the podcast slash vlog slash the theory of living. Mm-hmm. Um and then getting into the next thing here. Sorry, I just don't want to miss I mean, this. We uh, just have some notes. Um, I mean, th- that's about it. Um, so we're planning to um, leave here maybe in December, right? I uh, think December. Roughly, because we have uh, certain things that we need to take care of before we leave. But it's going to be uh, sometime in December. Uh, for Thailand Mm -hmm. and um, like you said you know if you guys want to see certain things um, just let us know in advance so that we can prepare for that um, uh, journey and um, we're in 46 minutes in Um, sounds like for it feels like forever (laughs) it feels like for a lot yeah I actually feel like we just started to me it feels like maybe 50 Mm. the coffee's probably hit me (laughs) No, very nice. You want to talk about the coffee? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk <laughs> about the coffee. By the way, it's not ours. It's not ours. But it's not ours. It's a... Uh, but it's really interesting, right? That's why I wanted to talk about it. 
I want to talk about, I don't want to talk about brand, you know, specific brand or anything like that, but uh, we love coffee and this is uh, coffee beans. These are coffee beans from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, when I heard about it for, for the first time, I, I was really puzzled. Oh, Hawaii? I've never heard of Hawaii makes, you know, produces good coffee beans. Yeah, it's not extremely mainstream. Yes, uh, but I, I'm in love with it now. Yeah. Yeah. So my uh, my dad and my brother had gone to Hawaii mm. some months ago, and I guess there's some farms out there, mm. and they do all their production of the coffees right. from the packaging, shipping, everything of that nature, and they have the opportunities for people to come and work on the farm. They'll give you a room and board, pay you a, a good good wage. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I hadn't had it till the first time where. My brother sent it to me to try, and I tried it, and it was delicious, and you've tried it, yeah. and it's something we've, I mean, coffee's what we drink, mm -hmm. primarily. It's coffee, water, and then, you know, beer occasionally, mm -hmm. some whiskey, but coffee is an everyday thing. Oh, you yeah. know, it's a, it's a routine. It's how we start the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, it's our pre-workout. It's what we do when we need energy. Midday lull, right here for the podcast, uh, mm -hmm. made some coffee. So we have a strong interest in going out and looking at some farms and pursuing a coffee bean and then a roaster mm -hmm. to potentially do that and sell it on the pad podcast and for our patreon members which we haven't gotten to yet mm -hmm. that subscribe we want to be able to give this coffee to you and you know we can share the same same morning routine which would be cool you know yeah you know that the people that are listening to us start the day the same way and mm -hmm. um i guess that's a probably a good segue into how we're funding most of this or what we'd like to do yes first and foremost we want to bring value to anybody that's listening to this and anybody that contributes to it we're extremely grateful for because we couldn't do it obviously without you guys yeah and you know regardless of if we have support or not we want to do this because we're passionate about it it's not about necessarily making money but continuing this lifestyle and be able to add value to your life as well Mm -hmm. So we have a Patreon page set up for those that want to support with varying tiers and memberships. And you can find that at patreon.com backslash the theory of living um, to see all those membership benefits. But it's it's an exciting time for us and any support helps at all. And again, don't feel obligated. It's deeply appreciated. And we're going to try to add more things to the tier packages or please give us feedback what you'd like to see in those patreon pages um mm -hmm. ways we could help incentivize to make it feel like you're getting your money's worth and you're contributing to the podcast because this is not just kai and cody's podcast this is you know our podcast all of us mm -hmm. and together we want to provide value again right and this is where we can talk about you know anyone who wants to uh participate in our podcast yeah uh let us know uh, all we have to do is just uh, add some mics, so uh, we'll be more than happy to have interesting people. So um, I guess that's about it for the uh, for the first episode. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that wraps it up pretty nicely. You know, I th yeah. I mean, I'm sure we made a lot of mistakes, especially uh, me. But um, also for that note, uh, please make some comments. Uh, leave some comments on uh, our performance. <laughs> performance <laughs> but you, you know you let us know uh you know what we can improve and what we can do better right i mean um after all we're doing this for um because of the people who support us right so we want to make this better for you so um we'll appreciate your uh, input thanks again for listening it's theory of living 